Oxygen is a medical drug that should be prescribed by a physician. The tank color is green, but in some countries the tank color can be white. We have the H tank, the E tank, and we also have our wall outlet in which oxygen therapy can be administrated. There are a few terms you need to know. The first one is hypoxia. It's a condition in which the oxygen available to the cells is not enough to meet the needs of the body. The second one is hypoxemia, which is a decreased oxygen in the arterial blood. Hypercapnia is an increased amount of carbon dioxide in the blood. Hyperoxia is an increased amount of oxygen in the blood. Cyanosis is an abnormal bluish color of the skin or mucous membranes. And hemoglobin is a protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. Why oxygen is given? Oxygen is given to keep enough oxygen in the tissues while decreasing the work of the heart and lungs. It's also given to treat or prevent hypoxemia and it also decreases the symptoms associated with hypoxemia. Causes of decreased amounts of oxygen in arterial blood. Working hard to breathe, breathing fast, having a condition that does not let normal amounts of oxygen into the blood, bad blood circulation, and not having enough hemoglobin. There are two values we look at to determine if a patient needs oxygen therapy. The first value we look at is the SpO2, which is the saturation of oxygen in the tissues. In order to look at the SpO2, we use the pulse oximeter, which is just the finger probe that we put on the patient's finger. There are two values on the pulse oximeter and also a waveform. The first value shows the SpO2 and the second value shows the heart rate. Normal SpO2 for a patient is between 90 and 100%. If the SpO2 is less than 90%, then that may indicate that the patient needs oxygen therapy. The second value we look at to determine if oxygen therapy is needed is the PaO2, which is the partial pressure of oxygen in the blood of the artery. PaO2 is how much oxygen is in the artery. We measure this value by drawing blood from an artery. It can be either the radial artery, the brachial artery, or the femoral artery. Normal PaO2 is 80 to 100 millimeters of mercury. We can tell how sick a patient is by how much oxygen is in the artery blood. A PaO2 lower than 80 millimeters of mercury means the patient does not have enough oxygen. Other signs and symptoms for oxygen therapy include fast breathing, shortness of breath, cyanosis, fast heartbeat, hypoxemia, chest pain, and confusion. An overview of when to give a patient oxygen. We give oxygen if the patient has an SpO2 less than 90%, if the patient has a PO2 less than 80 millimeters of mercury, when the patient shows any signs of fast breathing, shortness of breath, paleness, fast heartbeat, cyanosis, chest pain, hypoxemia, confusion. The patient had a heart attack during and following surgery, carbon monoxide and cyanide poisoning for shock and in premature infants. A couple of precautions. Remember that oxygen is flammable. Giving greater than 50% oxygen may cause oxygen toxicity. In premature infants, giving high amounts of oxygen can cause blindness. And oxygen therapy may also cause bacterial infection if equipment isn't cleaned properly. The first oxygen therapy device I will be explaining is the nasal cannula. A nasal cannula is set at a flow between 1 and 6 liters per minute. It gives 24 to 40% oxygen. A nasal cannula should be used when the patient is breathing normally and does not need a lot of oxygen. Using higher flows can dry the nose and can cause bleeding. At a flow greater than 4 liters per minute, make sure humidity is used. The next oxygen device is a simple mask. 
A simple mask is set at a flow between 5 and 10 liters per minute. It gives 35 to 50 percent oxygen. A simple mask is used best in emergencies, short-term therapy, and in patients who breathe through their mouths. The simple mask should come off for eating. Do not use a simple mask with a flow less than 5 liters per minute because it can cause carbon dioxide buildup. The non-rebreathing mask. This mask has two breathing valves. A non-rebreathing mask has a bag that must stay filled with oxygen. The flow is set no less than 10 liters per minute. This keeps the bag filled with oxygen. If the bag is not entirely full, it can prevent the patient from getting any oxygen. It gives 60 to 80 percent of oxygen. A non-rebreathing mask is used best in emergencies and for a patient that needs high amounts of oxygen, used in burn patients and carbon monoxide poisoning. A non-rebreathing mask may be turned into a partial rebreathing mask by removing the two valves. A partial rebreathing mask has a bag that must stay filled with oxygen. The flow is set no less than 10 liters per minute and this keeps the bag filled with oxygen. If the bag is not entirely full, it can prevent the patient from getting any oxygen. This mask gives 40 to 70 percent of oxygen. A partial rebreathing mask is used best in emergencies and for a patient that needs high amounts of oxygen. The last oxygen therapy device we'll be discussing is the Venturi mask. It is also known as the air entrainment mask. An air entrainment mask set flow varies. It gives an output flow of greater than 60 liters per minute. It gives 24 to 50% oxygen. It should be used in patients who are working hard to breathe who need an exact amount of oxygen. This device should only be used in adults and must be removed for eating. I'm going to demonstrate how to properly place a mask on a patient. The first thing you want to do if you're using a tank, you want to turn it on. And with the partial rebreathing mask that I'm using, you want to make sure you set your flow to 10. Remember with the partial rebreathing mask and the non-rebreathing mask, you want to make sure that the bag is inflated all the way so the patient gets the correct amount of oxygen. Once you see that your bag is inflated, you want to go ahead and place the mask on the patient. And it just wraps right behind her head. And you also want to make sure that the metal pieces are pre pressed firmly to her nose to make sure that the mask stays in the proper position.